I'm going to show you how you can visualize your data using infographics. So to do that, make sure you've got the Engage tab selected here, and then simply click on the Infographics button. So as you can see, you've got a lot of different types of uh, infographics to choose from, depending on uh, your data set and, of course, the story you're trying to uh, tell. Um, so let's go ahead and click a few of these, and I'll just show you how they work. Um, so perhaps what we'll do is we'll start with uh, a simple one, um, the donut chart. So I'll just select it and then click on the Insert button. And so what you see here is that it automatically draws it with a um, uh, percentage value. Uh, and uh, to update that, this dialog window um, lets you um, just type in uh, a different value. And so uh, whatever value you put in, um, it auto uh, calculates that and draws it for you. Um, so the other options you have um, are selecting a different design. So you can um, select a different design here. Um, and the one that kind of best suits your design needs. And of course, you can change the size of the font and also uh, the color um, of the infographic as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close this dialog window. And uh, the next thing I want to show you is how you can get access to that dialog window again. So to do that, you simply click on the infographic and you'll notice these two gears appear. So when you click on those gears, this is what uh, reopens this uh, dialog window. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm also going to um, delete this. And uh, I'm going to add a different type of infographic. Uh, this time, I'm going to show you a, a tree map. So I'll select the tree map and uh, click Insert. So what you'll notice with this infographic, this tree map, um, this one has more data to it. So uh, to update the data uh, on this one, uh, we've put in this uh, edit data button for you. So when you click on that, it opens up an Excel embedded worksheet, which makes it very easy for you to uh, update with your own data. So uh, in this case, I'll just uh, update one value and I'll go ahead and close this. And you'll see uh, that it'll automatically redraw uh, the uh, infographic for you. Um, so same idea, um, if I close this dialog window and I you know, select this um, infographic, you'll notice these two gears appear. Um, same idea, so when you click on those gears, it reopens this dialog uh, window. And of course, this is what gives you access to make all the changes uh, you want to your infographic. Um, so I'm going to show you a different method uh, to update and get the data into that spreadsheet. So I'll just go ahead and click on Edit Data again. So this will open up the Excel Embedded Worksheet. Uh, but this time, I'll click on File and I'll save it. So I'll save as, save to my desktop. And uh, what I'll call this file is um, Tree Map. So I'll go ahead and close this Excel spreadsheet and I'll close the dialog box. And what I'll do is I'll um, go to my desktop and uh, I'll find um, the Excel embedded worksheet. And what I'll do now is I'll change the values um, here and uh, maybe here. And so I could um, email this spreadsheet to uh, someone else. I could, um, I'll make this a little bit bigger, um, but I can email this spreadsheet to someone else, have them fill it out. Um, I could also add other tabs um, if I have um, maybe a data source uh, pulling from different um, sources of data and you know run my formulas and my VLOOKUPs and, uh, and so on. Um, so I could do all that. The only thing you have to do is maintain um, the um, structure of this tab, so in this case, uh, the three columns, um, and then, of course, the uh, name of the worksheet. Uh, but other than that, you're free to do uh, whatever you want. So this is very uh, useful if you already have uh, your existing spreadsheets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to go back to uh, my presentation. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to update this. Uh, again, you click on the infographic and you select the two gears. And this time, instead of clicking edit data, there's this little, uh, this triangle button. I'll click on that and there's an import from Excel. So I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll select this file, my tree map file. And what that does is it'll go into that file and read those values that we've just put in. 
And uh, as you can see, it's just updated uh, based on those values. So that's a, a different method of um, updating the data. Um, the other thing I want to show you is what happens when you click on uh, the C example link. So when you click on that link, um, basically it opens up a um, a uh, uh, browser window, and it just links to uh, our help um, section on our website. And it shows you a five to ten minute video of exactly how to create this infographic. Uh, and in addition, it also shows you um, kind of a before and after. Um, based on that same data set. And so it um, goes into detail as to what is a tree map and under which conditions you might want to use this type of infographic to visualize your data and, of course, tell uh, your story. So now let's go back to our presentation. What I'm going to do now is uh, select uh, this and just delete it. And I'm going to go back and uh, select a different type of uh, infographic. So this time I'm going to select the uh, pictogram. And so uh, what the pictogram does is, um, again, it visualizes a, a statistic. So in this case, um, I've got a story to tell and I've got a percentage value. In this case, it's 78%. And using uh, icons um, or pictures, um, it's going to um, automatically uh, fill uh, the values based on that percentage value that you uh, give it. So again, if I wanted to change the value, I could just click on the Edit Data button. And um, here, I can change this to uh, whichever value. Um, and so I'm just going to click the Close button. And you'll notice uh, if you look at over here, it automatically changed um, to the percentage value that I've entered. Um, and the same idea as the other infographics, I could also use uh, this dialog window to change uh, different options, such as the colors, uh, the size, and so on. And of course, I can also change the icons. So I can go from male to female. I can click on the More Icons button, and um, I can select uh, any number of icons. Uh, the other thing that I can do as well is, uh, in the event that the icon that you're looking for isn't here, uh, you can still... Um, uh, use this to uh, create your own pictogram using your own custom PNG uh, uh, icon. So um, I'll just click on Browse. And on my desktop, I have a uh, PNG of a tank. So I'll just double click that. And um, so now I have the icon of a tank. And um, in addition to that, I can also add as many rows and uh, as many columns of this um, icon that I want. Uh, but in this case, uh, maybe I'll just select one row and uh, one column. So I just want one uh, tank. Um, so uh, what I'll do now is um, I'll just go ahead and uh, click the um, close button here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just manually um, increase the size here of this icon. And I can move my legend around as well. Um, so I'm going to go back and click on uh, my infographic and I see the two gears appear and again um, I can change different options so in this case the other option here I have is a uh, fill direction so I can change that uh, from left to right to uh, bottom up um, and so on and there are options to uh, configure the legend as well um, but that's basically the idea of infographics and so for each infographic again um, you can simply you know, select it, and if you really want to go into detail as to uh, how to create that specific infographic, um, simply just click on the See Example link here, and it'll bring you to that uh, specific uh, page on our Help Center uh, with a 5 to 10 minute video uh, outlining that. Um, and so that's infographics.